In order to gain a complete understanding of how organisms live, biologists must study both the micro and the macro of all living things. So the micro would be something like the elements, the cells, the tissues, biological processes, and so on, whereas the macro would be the study of organisms and how they interact. So this is called ecology, which studies how organisms interact with each other and their environment. In ecology, the organism is now called the individual. So here you see you have a moose that is an individual. A population is made up of individuals from the same species that live in the same area at the same time. So here you have a population of moose. So it doesn't include anything other than that specific species of moose that are living in that specific coniferous forest at that time. Another example would be um, a population of humans in Boston. So that encompasses the people that live in Boston at this time and nothing else. The community would be all the living um, things, all the living organisms in a place at a specific time. So now you have you have the moose, you have the trees, the grass, um, you have the owl, the rabbit, and anything else that is living in that place at that time. Next, you have an ecosystem, and this encompasses the community and the non-living environment, which is also known as the abiotic environment. So in the ecosystem, you also have the water, or the air, or the, um, the soil. This is, these are all non-living things that are incorporated in the ecosystem. Biomes break the pattern. They're not a group of ecosystems. Um, instead, a biome is a geographic region with specific terrestrial and climatic conditions, and it's inhabited by a distinct community of plants and animals. So that sounds a little confusing, but we encounter biomes all the time. For example, um, a desert is a biome. So you see a desert has a very specific terrain. It's very sandy. Um, it has a very specific climate. It's hot or cold and very dry. And it's inhabited by a distinct community of plants and animals such as rodents or cacti or scorpions and so on. So there's a series of videos that describe different types of biomes in more depth, but that was just a brief overview. So the last level of organization is the biosphere. The biosphere encompasses the entire Earth we live in and its atmosphere.